Hey friends, I'm Miranda. What are we, hold on, that part I've got down. Hold please. So we've gotten a lot of requests to do a video on how to make your own backpacking meals. Here are some suggestions for meals that you can make with ingredients from your pantry that require basically no prep and are healthy and have whole ingredients. Let's do it. This is my show, gosh darn. So this is all the stuff that I got from the grocery store, as well as some things that I just had in my house anyway. All of this will fit down into these bags here. And this is enough food for me for two nights uh, or two days of backpacking. I've packed all of my food into these reusable silicone bags. I've chosen to use these instead of the single use plastic bags because they're reusable. So what are we making? For this, we actually have three fully cooked meals on the menu, on the trail. For breakfast, I have oatmeal with some trail mix-ins. For lunch, we are making a peanut noodle. And for dinner, we have a lentil and vegetable mix with couscous. The reason that I've chosen this as my menu is that I have a lot of redundancies. So my trail mix gets mixed into my oatmeal. Some of the dried stuff from my other snacks get mixed into my lunch and dinner. Let's go ahead and cook it. So we've just woken up, it's time to eat breakfast. We're having oatmeal. And what we're gonna do is actually cook two different meals at once. So we'll be using the oatmeal, but we'll also be prepping our peanut noodles for lunchtime, all using the same water. What I'm going to do is put these pasta noodles into my pot with some water, uh, and then I'll bring that water to a boil and set it aside and cook the noodles until they're done. Then I'll use that same starchy water that I cooked the noodles in to make my oatmeal and to make my instant coffee. Let's make pasta. <laughs> this cup is dirty. It's camp clean. So we're going to measure out about three quarters cup of pasta in the pot. Help. So we'll do one and a half cups of water. That's enough to boil pasta, make oatmeal and coffee. And now we wait. So our noodles are about done cooking here. So once they are finished, what I'm going to do is just strain this water into my cup for coffee and into my bowl for my oatmeal. And then I'll leave the noodles in this pot while I eat my breakfast because I'm going to eventually put the noodles into this bowl for my lunch. I have about a half cup of oatmeal in here and that's just half of my mixture there. And then my uh, brown sugar and my cinnamon are already mixed in. I'm going to pour my water into here, close this up while I drink my coffee, wait about five minutes or so, and then I'll add my mix-ins to that bowl. Pot grabber. Leave that there to stay hot. We're gonna seal this up and wait for them to cook. So any extra water that I have in this cup is what I will use to make my cup of coffee. Um, so I've got a little bit more water in here from noodles, put that in here, add in my instant coffee, uh, and then just drink my coffee while I'm waiting for my oatmeal. Oatmeal is done. So we're gonna add our mix-ins now. I am going to use, yummy, this trail mix. Yeah. And that is breakfast. Mm. Oh my, so good. <laughs> I'm getting it camp clean. Mm. Now it's clean. <laughs> no shame, people. Now we're ready to make our peanut noodles. So I'll take these noodles, dump them into my bowl, my very sparkling clean bowl. There we go. If you are using powdered peanut butter, you need a little bit of liquid to rehydrate it. So that is what the soy sauce acts as. You can also add um, chicken or I don't know, meat. I find that the peanut butter is plenty of protein for me. Also, I don't eat meat, so I don't do that, but feel free to customize. And then from here, I'm also going to add some of my crispy onion. Can't get a noodle. Mm, yeah, that's perfect. Now I'm gonna store this until lunchtime. So I'll put the lid on, seal it up. 
This seals up pretty nicely. I do try to keep this upright in my pack, so I'll put it in the lid or the brain of my pack. Um, but if you're concerned about it leaking, you can always just wrap a headband or bandana or something around it. And then yeah, this is ready to go at lunchtime. So just a quick recap, this has all happened at breakfast for me. I've made oatmeal, I've had coffee, I've cleaned my bowl once, and then I've made my lunch in here and stored it for later. Now I'm ready to hit the trail for the day. So now that I'm at camp, I've had my breakfast, I've had my lunch, we are going to make dinner. And for dinner, we are using the lentils and the couscous. I have extra lentils and extra couscous. It's a really good idea to carry extra food with you just in case you don't make it back when you planned to. Let's make some lentils. One important thing to keep in mind is that I have split red lentils in here. Um, split red lentils cook pretty fast, whereas other lentils don't. So make sure that you're buying like quick cooking lentils instead of the ones that take like an hour because then you'll waste all your fuel and don't blame me for that one. And now we wait for the couscous to get soft. This will probably take roughly 10 minutes, uh, but you can probably let it sit in there for longer if you want. While you're waiting, now is a great time to make sure your tent is set up or crack a beer. Couscous baby. Sweet, that is done. Have that bag. I'm not at dinner. This makes enough food for me for two days of backpacking. It adds up to be roughly 2,350 calories for a day. That's a lot more than I eat on a day-to-day -day basis, but it tends to be enough for me for backpacking. Spork. I don't eat meat or dairy, but you can add any other kind of couscous. I don't know. Let's just do that one more time. I don't eat meat or dairy, but you can add jerky or packaged meat into your dinners. Hopefully this video has been helpful and given you some suggestions on how to make your own backpacking meals. If you guys wanna see another video that talks about how to dehydrate your own backpacking meals, let me know in the comments below. And if you have your own suggestions on a favorite backpacking meals, I would love to see those as well. As always, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, go ahead and subscribe. Now get out of here and I will see you outside.